In this video, we provide the solution to question number 11 for practice exam number four for Math 1050. And we have this exponential equation, two times 49 to the x plus 11 times seven to the x plus five is equal to zero. We wanna solve this exponential equation and find all real solutions, okay? Uh, so the first thing to notice here is that you have this 7x and a 49x. The relationship between 49 and 7, of course, is that 7 squared is 49. What that tells us is if I take 7 to the x and I square it, that is going to give you 49 to the x by usual exponent laws. And so if we insert a new symbol, let's say u is equal to 7 to the x here, then u squared would equal 49 to the x. And this equation then can be rewritten as 2u squared plus 11u plus 5 is equal to 0. And therefore, this equation has a quadratic form. Let's first solve the quadratic equation, and then we'll switch it back to an exponential in just a second. Um, this quadratic equation we could solve by the, the methods we know. We could factor it. We could uh, complete the square. We could use the quadratic formula. It doesn't matter which one you use. Um, I notice that 2 times 5 gives me 10. 2 and 5 gives you 10, for which 10 can be factored as 10 times 1. We also have 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. Right? So there is a magic pair. I can factor this by grouping. So I'm going to break apart 11 11, uh, 11 u here, it's gonna become 10 u and just u, like so, one u. And so you get two u squared plus 10 u, that'll be my first group. And then for my second group, we're gonna have u plus five. In the first group, we can take out a two u, that leaves behind u plus five. In the second group, the only thing we can take out is a one, but that leaves behind u plus five, but that's actually great, because that's what I wanted. But after all, since we had a magic pair, it's gonna to have to factor that way. We factor out the u plus 5. We then end up with 2u plus 1 times u plus 5 equals 0. Uh, we're then going to set both of these um, factors equal to 0. So we get 2u plus 1 equals 0. We also get u plus 5 equals 0. In the first case, the 2u plus 1 equals 0 minus 1 divided by 2. We see u equals negative 1 half. In the second case, u plus 5 equals 0, subtract 5 from both sides, we get negative 5. Now that solves the quadratic equation in terms of the symbol u. We have to solve it in terms of x, right? So substitute back in the 7 to the x there. So we have 7 to the x is equal to negative 1 half, and we have 7 to the x is equal to negative 5. Now remember, when it comes to an exponential function, 7 to the x is always positive. It can never equal a negative. So 7 to the x can't equal a negative. Um, but also, if you went forward with this problem not recognizing that, you would take the log base 7 of, say, like negative 5, and you're going to find out, oh, that doesn't exist. All right, I should say that's not a real number. It's an imaginary number. So in particular, since the instructions did, of course, tell us real solutions, there's no way that an exponential can equal a negative for a real variable there. So we actually have to report that on this problem, there's no solution because uh, there's no real number x uh, that'll satisfy this. And that does happen from time to time.